Good morning grade 6. I hope everybody is doing well and you're ready for today's lesson. So let's get started. So today we will be doing language and we'll be looking at dictionary skills, right? So in a dictionary we have a page that gives us words, right? And the definitions of those words. So what we want to look at firstly is a guide word. So what is a guide word? A guide word is printed at the top of the page of a dictionary to show the first or last word on that page. So let's look at some examples. Also, remember, you need to copy the slide. So here's an example of a guide word. So if you open your dictionary, you will see on top of the page, there is a word, right? So they are usually on top of the page and they help you locate the word you're looking for. Um, and that is why they call them guide words. So I know that we don't have our dictionaries with us. They are in the classroom, but it's okay because I have many examples in the video today. Next, what is a syllable? I'm sure everybody knows what a syllable is already. But let's just go over it again. So a syllable is a part of a word or a word with a vowel sound. So we know our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, right? So a vowel sound may be spelled with more than one vowel. Um, please remember to copy the slide. So let's look at some examples of a syllable. So it says syllables. Every syllable must have a vowel. Remember, it must always have a vowel. And one way to determine a syllable is to usually clap the words, right? And you can hear how many vowel sounds are in that word. So, for example, we have the word snap. So, I say snap. I only clapped once because there's only one vowel, which is A in the word. And then the second word we have is basket. So, I say basket. C, so I clap twice because there are two vowels in the word, a A and an E, right? So when you want to find out how much syllables are in a word, always clap. It really helps um, to find out, right? So that's our syllables. So you can open up your textbook on page 105. Um, like I said, we're doing dictionary skills. I've went through guide words already and I'll just read through the questions. Number one, arrange these words in alphabetical order. So you just arrange them in the right order. Number two, which of the following questions will you be able to answer by looking in the dictionary? So don't worry, I will have it in the next slide. Number three, find the word technology in your dictionary. And then you answer those questions. And lastly, number four, divide these words in syllables. Right? So you can use hyphens um, to divide it. Um, and remember, clap your hands and then you will find the syllables easier. Right? So let's go to the dictionary words that they asked us in the questions. So you have the... Um, words from the dictionary you can pause the screen uh, when you answer your questions and this will help because if you don't have a dictionary with you you can use this if you do that's great or if you can google it even better so yes there's um the two words okay so before i continue to the next slide if mommy is watching this video with you or she's in the same room ask her nicely to just leave for two minutes so I can speak to you about a little secret. So pause the video, um, wait for mommy to leave and then I'll continue. Okay, so just remember it's Mother's Day on Sunday, right? So yo, I put together some ideas for any special lady in your life. It can be your mommy, your auntie, your grandma, any special lady in your life. This is some nice examples. Of something you can make her. So if your mommy likes tea or coffee, you can make her this card using old egg cartons. You can paint it or you can leave it as is. Um, you can even paste a little tea bag in it or little coffee beans. 
as well and you can just be creative with it then you can also make your own diy mother's day cards um, you can write anything you want on it you can paste anything you want on it anything that's on your heart you can do that in your card and lastly you can make little chocolate flowers for so if you have colored paper or even white paper that you can color in you can make little flowers with leaves and you can paste the chocolates on it um, to make a flower right so there's some ideas for you to make your mom or any special lady in your life for mother's day so don't forget it's the sunday okay so back to homework um, you need to write the heading, the date, page number and draw a line. First things first, you copy your slides on guide words and syllables. And then you answer your dictionary skill questions. Question 1 to 4 on page 105. Right, so must be cl completed in your English workbook. And due date is the 11th of May. Right, so that's all the homework that we have for today i hope you learned something new about dictionary skills and you must enjoy your weekend i'll see you monday bye